Right, so to celebrate Lenny Boy turning one, I thought let's rewind the clock a, a couple of years, a couple of decades to be precise, and recreate some of my favourite school lunches for Lenny Boy to try. So today we are going to be serving tofu dinosaur nuggets, a jacket potato with beans and cheese, sweet corn and peas, an asahi bowl and a carton of milk. And wait, before you guys go say something, no, we did not have asahi bowls as an option at school for lunch. We had a red yogurt and maybe a blue yogurt, but I want to elevate these dishes slightly. I want it to be nutritious yet still delicious for my son. So we're going to start things off with the most enjoyable shape and the most enjoyable flavour, tofu dinosaur nuggets. Oh, guys, these are my absolute favourite growing up. Obviously, I used to have them with chicken, but with tofu, they taste just as good if you do them properly. So I'm going to try and do them properly. Also, we have these really exciting dinosaur cutters to make them. I mean, they shouldn't bring me this much joy, seeing as I haven't been to school in over 20 years. And sure, I shouldn't be reminding you guys how old I am, but this is all for Lennon. So we're going to need some extra firm tofu. We'll give it a cut. We'll drain the water. Then we'll cut the tofu in half. We'll add a paper towel underneath and then we'll place a breadboard on top and here we're putting pressure on the tofu just so we can squeeze all that water out. Lovely, now they're nice and dry, we're going to get our lovely dinosaur cutters. We'll be precise with the placement, we'll push it down then remove any unwanted tofu. But fear not guys, this tofu will be used in such things as a tofu scramble, in addition to a lovely soup, maybe a Japanese curry, whatever you like. And then as we push this through, this is the moment I realise they're actually too thick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these in half, like so. Then I'll come back to our other piece and cut this in half, like I was supposed to do the first time. Now we continue with a better surface. Look at that, they are looking beautiful already and ideally we want to put these in the freezer overnight and as you can see here I have a pre-frozen selection for us, I planned ahead, this way the texture and the control will be that much better. So now to bread them we're going to need a bowl of flour and as Lennon still can't have egg we have almond milk and a dash of flour. We'll give it a mix until smooth, then we'll get a bowl of breadcrumbs. Now it's time to make the dinosaurs add them in flour, give them a wash in the almond milk and a little roll around in the breadcrumbs. And now the first one is done. Guys, I must say, doing this video and the fact that Lennon is now one in the fastest year we've ever had, it's making me more nostalgic thinking about school, thinking about my childhood because before we know it, he's going to be at school eating this lovely canteen food. So I really want to think about what I enjoyed about school and what did I learn from it. And when I look back, I really enjoyed school. I didn't, I probably definitely could have paid more attention to the academic stuff. I was a social butterfly, a cheeky chap, and I really think that helped me become the person I am today. But if I was to go back and change anything, it would be to pay a little bit more attention because now that I'm older, I love to learn a World War II documentary, learning about the consciousness and expanded black holes, all this stuff, I love it now. But when I was young, obviously I didn't care. So when Lenin goes to school, be social, make your friends, have that a big part of your life, but also put your head down, do some work and do some learning. So, so as we finish up the breading of the dinosaurs first, we admire their beauty, then they're ready to cook. I'm going to use an air fryer here just so we don't use too much oil for our little buddy. On that note, we'll spray some oil, put the temperature to 380 and then cook until golden brown. Just like this. Oh, would you look at that, guys. Now our beautiful tofu dinosaur nuggets are ready to serve. Right, so next up we have maybe the most quintessential beautiful British lunch in history. If you haven't heard of it before, we love to call this the jacket potato with cheese and beans. So for any of my English friends watching right now, you guys know what this is. You've probably had this dish a thousand times as well. It's the staple lunchtime classic. This dish is delish. It's so easy to make, but there is one rule, and it has to be Heinz baked beans. This is our, this is a weird obsession we have in England with beans. It doesn't make much sense, but they are delicious, and it's hard to get over here. Whole Foods do them. There's a few places. They are worth it, and I'm going to show you just how easy and delicious this dish is. So. We're going to put the oven on it to 400 degrees. This is a washed russet potato. We're going to give it a wipe, then stab it with a fork so it cooks all the way through. Then we'll pop it on a tray with some parchment paper, cover it in some olive oil, give it a lovely rub, and then we'll throw it in the oven for about 50 minutes. 
And also guys, why we love a good Heinz baked bean in England, partly because in America, you love putting maple syrup and sugar in all your beans, too sweet, but these are versatile. Baked potato, beautiful. Breakfast, even better. Fish and chips, oh, forget about it. And also, if you've got no money, you're at college, it's a really popular cheap meal where you don't have to cook anything. You just rip off the lid, you put some crisps, chips, whatever you want to call them, put them in and just eat them with a fork. Doesn't taste great, but it's not bad. And if that wasn't enough for you, even now, in England, most of my friends, my nickname is Bean. I'm not sure why I'm telling you guys this, but partly because I love beans so much. So this isn't endorsed, but it can be. So we'll get the stove to a medium low heat, then we'll add the beans. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? We'll give it a stir for a couple of minutes just to thicken up that sauce and enrich the beans. Then we'll take out our lovely potato. We'll give it a chop, a little fluff, a touch of cheese and a pop of beans. Then we're gonna top it off with some more cheese. And just like that, our jacket potato and beans are ready to serve. Right, so next up for a lovely dessert, we are gonna do another classic lunchtime staple, the Asahi Bowl. As a reminder, didn't have this at school, but we wanna make this delicious. We wanna get some nutrition in there, some good fruit, some good flavor, and make it all purple to counterbalance all the brown we're serving. So we're gonna need a frozen Asahi super fruit pack. We just need the one. We'll get out our food processor, add the asahi. Then I'm going to add a frozen banana. This just helps with the texture. And then some frozen blueberries for the same reason. Then I'll add about half a cup of water. And then it's time for blending. Look at that, now that is the consistency we want. Now we're going to get our very small ramekin bowl. We'll add the Asahi mix, a few sliced strawberries, a touch of granola, a couple more of Buddy's favorite blueberries, then of course, some mint on top. Now our tiny Asahi bowl is ready to serve. Yay! Look at that. Straight in, not even waiting, huh? So here we have a nice tofu dinosaur nugget. Do you want a bit of ketchup with it? Little bit of ketchup. What do you think of it? Yeah? You like it? That means he likes it. A little wave, little celebration, always a good sign. Mmm, it do taste like chicken. Freezing the tofu gives it a great texture. Now would you like to try a bit of bean? A bit of jacket potato and beans and cheese? He's a proper big boy now. He's had his first birthday. He had such a good time. He had all his friends and family. He had a few handbox changes. I'll put some photos up here. Beautiful. Anybody, hey you did so well. Even if you're used as a prop for most of the day. Do you want some purple yogurt? It wasn't this good when we were at school, buddy. Just so you know, it was just a bit of purple yogurt. But you, sir, it's your favorite blueberries. Oh, this is good. Very good, isn't it? It's so crazy just watching him take in these new flavors. You can really see him thinking. Right, we're gonna be here a while. We're gonna keep eating the food, sharing the food. Let me know what other recipes you want me to make for Lennon. For now, thank you for watching. I've been Ben, he's been Lennon, and you guys have been fantastic. See you guys in the next one. Say bye, buddy. He's eating the nuggets. See ya. <laughs>